is precious, adorable, with them big old eyes. Yes, we should capture him and make him suffer. Suffer? Why, yes, yes, indeed. Yeah! <laughs> <laughs> Quiet! You ragheads have no use for such power. Leave it to me. Once I harness its beauty, it's a half moon! The perfect time for harvesting! Yes, you're right. You might be more sane than I thought. <laughs> sane? <laughs> I'm sane, I'm sane! Yeah. <laughs> Quiet! Arr! Be gone! Out of my presence! And catch that vomit! <laughs> yes, yes, grand one. Grand one. <laughs> As the three witches stand in awe of this wonderful yet majestic creature, they view as a vermin. But curiosity killed the cat. <laughs> a black one, that is. The two witches run after this wonderful magic creature. They run and they run. Weariness calls their name, but the witches and their brooms do not suffer. They run and they run, gust in the wind. They start to become winded. They come upon a cave as this majestic creature seems to outfly the two stubborn witches. The ability for it to soar in the nightly skies we do not know. For the witches have never seen such a creature ever before. Suddenly, they lose sight of its presence. They become furious, curious, and mysterious. What kind of creature could escape the three witches' grasp? Um, we can't find it. Excuse me. Yeah, we... Hush! What is it, Scarlet? It left and ran into a cave. We searched and searched and still have not found. Ah! You ding ding diggerlings! You had one job. How do y'all tell me I had one job, but I swear we just never... Oh, yes, we need to. We 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 no the way. witches go back and forth about whose fault it was losing the majestic yet mysterious creature. The head witch becomes furious. It's something about its presence that she has never seen before. Something she can't put her pointy, sharp fingernail on. She begins to think and think and think some more. How would she catch that beautiful vermin? Suddenly, a bright blue, white, pink aura circles around the majestic trees. 
the trees start to glow, the flowers start to bloom, in broad midnight, the moon is shining, and the stars become more visible than ever. Suddenly, strange figures start to form from the ground that become rather hardened, but they look so beautiful. The head witch does not know what to make of this magic stronger than I, she ever has said. I cannot believe what kind of wicked this creature has done. Oh! Wow. Well, my eyes do not deceive me. It's, it's the vomit. I can sense its essence. Impossible. How can it be? This creature, this beauty, thing we once saw and never seen again, Maybe it transformed into something better? Yeah! Maybe it's a creature of infinite beauty! <laughs> <laughs> Silence! You all are such a mockery of what it means to be a witch! Now go! Go! If I turn you to goblin dust! The two stubborn witches flee the scene, the forest that is, leaving the head witch to her search with the grand majestic creature. She doesn't know what to make of this entire scene. She walks up closer to this creature, not fearing what it may do. Not fearing the magic that it beholds. Not fearing anything beyond her wildest sight. As she has seen many mysteries of the night. But this peculiar event never before seen. Wow. With those big old eyes. You are indeed the absence of beauty. Those broom heads don't know what it means to cherish something beautiful. The head witch gravels at its beauty. She becomes full aware of what this creature is. The majestic yet mysterious butterfly. She cowers in fear, never have to gaze upon something so beautiful, exposing the essence of a foreign reality, exposing the ugliness she once knew, but never again will she accept. Afraid of exposing herself to the other witches, her tears that is, she swiftly wipes them away. As she wipes her tears, the majestic butterfly soars higher into the sky, so high the head witch herself cannot even soar. She watches its magic sprinkles fall from the sky. Big old lies, she says. Never again would she experience something as beautiful and majestic as the butterfly.